lately I have had quite a few conversations where people just can't hack it so they stop talking and then walk away I don't know if it's them being faced with their own conscience or whether you know the gears are actually turning in their head and they're thinking about what I'm saying or about the subject or the topic that we're talking about I'm not too sure but for instance today I was with the work colleague and he was telling me about how he'd been to a slaughterhouse and how he hated it and he thought it was horrible but still continues to eat bacon and meat and I said to him you know I what I was like that and I wanted to blame it on someone else and then I realized that I was part of the problem and then he just decided to leave and that's just one of the times recently where I've had people as I said just can't hack it and they just walk away so feeling like an alien as the title says you know being the only vegan or one of the minor few um, I reckon it's quite hard you know I'm going to I'm strong about it and there's no there's no way that it's gonna even be a problem like I won't not be strong about this because I feel so strongly about it so there's no don't doubt that I'm not gonna be okay with this but I can get it you know that other people maybe it would get to them even more so I mean if you're vegan for the ethical reasons and you want people to give a shit about animals and they really just don't and they choose to just ignore what goes on it can be a real struggle and it makes you want to what well, makes me want to go and just live away from it but yeah obviously then you can't affect change amongst other people and that's the one of the reasons that we do what we do right to help animals and I think you know things definitely are changing slowly it doesn't happen at a rate that's fast enough for us or for me but there's nothing else you can do you can't give up I'm not definitely not going to give up with this um, but yeah certainly lots more awkward conversations to come and it's not like I'm being overly aggressive or you know trying to push my point I definitely am not like some people on the internet or some people doing interviews for that matter who don't let the other person get a word in etc I think that's no good you know you definitely have to let people talk but certainly in this day and age where people are so occupied by their phones and other social media devices laptops whatever it's hard to you know one get them to listen to you for a start and uh, certainly two would be you know get them to listen about what you're saying whether it be about being big or being healthy or whatever for that matter so the struggle is real for sure um, yeah, I'm going to keep doing the best that I can do with this, um, like I said, there's no wavering in me being strong about it, it's no problem, it's frustrating for sure, super frustrating, you know, if you're an ethical vegan or just, you know, understand it for all the right reasons, then you'll feel the struggle, but, um, definitely going to keep on keeping on with this just love to have a bit of a vent and to my YouTube audience I don't know who half of you are or more than half of you but yeah it's nice it's a way that we can connect in a way that more people understand you know the vegan crew understand that's why I'm going to Chiang Mai because there's so many people on the right level and it definitely gives you motivation hanging out with people that are onto it on the same page on the same wavelength um, because being in society as they say or you know living amongst other people that aren't awake and choose to stay asleep yeah it sucks but hey you know living in a cave or living in some place where no one's seeing what you're doing isn't really the answer either so yeah I don't really know what the, the whole point of my video is I guess it's just just um, perhaps put it out there that you know feeling like an alien perhaps is okay and uh, yeah it's not the end of the world things gonna get better yeah I'm sure of it